In this demonstration, we're going to be showing more of the on-the-fly image processing capabilities that the Capture Pro software has. I'm going to be doing this in the Ready to Scan job, so I'm going to click on the New Batch button, select the Ready to Scan job, and create a new batch. To start out with this demo, I'm going to make sure that my layout is set back to uh, what we call the enhanced mode, which is actually what's shown on the screen right now, where you have the batch explorer, the image viewer, and the, the thumbnail viewer uh, shown on the, on the main screen. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be scanning some checks, personal checks. I'm going to be scanning them in color. And along with the checks, I'm going to have some corresponding uh, documentation. The checks are obviously check size. They are about five inches wide by like, like three inches tall. And then I have a regular eight and a half by 11 document. Now these checks are very colorful. They contain a lot of shading and things like that. So I'm going to take advantage of the color scanning uh, capabilities of the, the Kodak scanners and scan these in color. What I want to do is I want to remove any back images of the pages I'm scanning that are blank. So I've set up a page setup here that will remove blank images based on the byte size or the file size of the image. And what that's going to do is that if the file size falls below a certain threshold, it will automatically delete those back pages. So when I'm scanning checks and I'm scanning 8.5 by 11 documents, I need to set the threshold high enough such that it'll remove the blank 8.5 by 11 page. When I start scanning here, you'll notice what's happening is that these checks are actually duplex checks. That there is content on the front and the rear. But because I have to set the byte size threshold high enough to remove the blank rear side of this claim form, it also deleted, unfortunately, the, the back side of my check documents as well. If we go into page setup here and go into the auto delete tab, you'll see that I set the byte size threshold to 50,000 bytes. That's what's needed to remove the blank color 8.5 by 11 image. The problem with that is that we also remove the, the back side of the checks, and there is information on the checks. There's endorsement information, etc., that's needed. So Capture Pro software has a feature where it can visually inspect the content of every image and delete blank images based on content as opposed to just byte size. So if I change my page setup to delete blanks based on content, and I rescan this document set again, you'll see that, that, that we'll get the end result that we want. So you can see here that we're getting the front and the rear of the checks. And then when that 8.5 by 11 claim document comes in, you can see we also auto-deleted the, the back of that claim document. So that's a, you know, a nice uh, productivity and, and uh, data integrity feature of Capture Pro software. Now the other thing there that can be done with check size like documents on the fly uh, during scanning is we can merge the front and the rear into a single image. And that might be very useful. It, it'd be a lot better you know, from, from somebody who wants to retrieve this check document in, in the downstream imaging system to be able to see the front of the check and the rear of the check in the same image to see the endorsement and the actual check as opposed to having to have two separate images being displayed. And again, this can be done on the fly during scanning in Capture Pro software. So we have an option to merge the front and the rear of scanned documents into a single image on the fly during scanning. So when I rescan this check document set now, now we get a emerged image, right? The front and the rear are in a single image, which makes it much, much easier for somebody to retrieve these later in a document management system. Now if I scan my 8.5 by 11 document again, you know, that one I probably don't want to merge the front and the rear. So we've actually configured 
this page setup to only merge the front and the rear of documents that meet a certain size. So I actually said if the width is, you know, is only between four and six inches, let's say, that's the only time I'm going to do the merge because I really only want to merge the checks. I don't want to merge any corresponding documentation. That's it for some of the other on-the-fly image processing uh, capabilities that you can do in Capture Pro software with check size documents as an example. Thank <laughs> you.